Order in the court. Everyone but the jury may be seated. Jury, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will truly listen to this case and render a true verdict in a fair sentence to this defendant? I do. I do. Is the prosecution ready? Yes, Your Honor. Is the defense ready? Yes, yes Your Honor. Honor. Defendant, how do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. You may begin your opening statements. We believe that Snowball is not guilty based on the fact that the accusations made are false and completely biased. Prosecution, you may begin your opening statement. We believe that Snowball is guilty because there's evidence that he knocked down the windmill, destroyed things in the farm, worked with Mr. Jones in the Battle of Cowshed, and mixed weed seed with corn seed to scare us and starve us. Thank you. Defense, you may call your first witness to the stand. We wish to call Benjamin Donkman to the stand. Sustained. Benjamin Donkman, do you swear to say the truth, nothing but the truth, and only the truth? I do. Thank you. Okay, Benjamin, what did you see during the Battle of Cowshed? I saw Snowball fighting hard for his life, dedicating the rest of his life to his fellow comrades. Was there any proof that Snowball might have been working with Jones? No, sir. He wasn't. Was he harmed by any of the men in any way during the battle? Yeah, he got shot in the back. Just straight though. Lots of blood though. I see. And during the building and the planning of the windmill, was it Napoleon who originally had the plans? No, it was Snowball. Everything was Snowball? Yep, Napoleon just took his credit. All right, thank you. That is all, Your Honor. Thank you. Prosecution, would you like to cross-examine? Yes, we would. Comrade Benjamin, when Snowball got shot, he didn't die. How do you know that it wasn't all orchestrated so that he would get shot and make him look innocent? Well, Snowball was a really honest pig. He would never have done that to us animals. But how do you know that? Objection! Sustained. Uh. You are questioning the smarts of the witness, not anything related to the actual guilty or not guilty relation to Snowball. Prosecution, you may continue. Secondly, how do you know that he did not mess any of our food up? I just trust Snowball enough to not do that. You trust Snowball more than me when I physically smelled him all over our food stocks. Objection! Insert, you are inserting yourself into the situation when it is not about you. Prosecution, you may continue. But you see, the dogs also smelled him. So it was not just me, it was also the dogs. Also, all the animals unanimously agree that Napoleon is our leader and Snowball is bad, so... Yes. Are you unanimously going against what the whole farm says? Because in that case, it is one against hundreds upon hundreds. Well, I am the only animal who knows how to read. All the other animals don't know how to read. All the pigs do. And all the dogs know. They're the leaders, though. The dogs aren't the leaders. We just taught them whale from puppies. That is all, Your Honor. Thank you. Snowball Peggington, you may raise your right hand. Would you promise to say the truth, nothing but the truth, and only the truth? I do. Thank you. You may begin. Snowball Peggington, my comrade, is it true that during the sacred battle of the cowshed, you said, long live humanity. No, that is not true. Oh, but we have proven documents that you have said this. Forgery! How would you forgery this? Well, the pigs are the only animals on the farm that can read and write. Therefore, it was you two that 
wrote down that those so-called documents. Well, this is just untrue, because in fact, Benjamin can also write and read. How is that relevant? He could have written the forgeries, but he didn't, because he has no cause. But you do. But why would we want to write something as silly as that? Personal bias against me. But we don't have a personal bias. Anyway. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> that is all, Your Honor. Thank you. You may leave the stand. The, cl the prosecution may begin their closing statements. We believe that Snowball is guilty because he not only destroyed our windmill, but there's documents that he said death to humanity, and all of the farm agrees. Thank you. Defense, you may begin your closing statement. As you can see, there is no physical evidence that Snowball was working with Jones besides some documents that may or may not have been forged. Besides that, any proof that they have is just false accusations. That is all, Your Honor. Thank you. The jury will now take a brief recess to discuss. Cut. Oh, the jury is returning. We have made a decision. The defendant, Snowball Piggington, is guilty. No! Thank you. The court has been preceded. Gavel.